The Pig Welfare Laboratory is a research center located in the experimental farming area of the Escuela Técnica Superior de Ingenieros Agrónomos of the Universidad Politécnica de Madrid. The idea of this novel housing facility for pigs livestock comes from a group of professors of the Agronomos School, who signed a partnership agreement with Traxa Public Company and carried out an I plus D project to design and construct this facility. This project looks for a given answer for the major challenges of the present intensive pig production. First, to limit the environmental impact of the livestock farming, looking how to reduce the ammonia emissions into the atmosphere and how to avoid that pig slurry does become a problem. And second, to improve animal welfare. <laughs> Although we speak of these purposes separately, they are strongly related. Thanks to the environmental control and to the underfloor air extraction system, we remove the gases produced inside the building, so we are improving pig welfare and drying the feces previously separated, avoiding pig slurry production. The pig welfare laboratory belongs to a public university, so it's used for research works, doctoral thesis, in trials with sector interested companies, and in university teaching, own of the Escuela de Agronomos and for national or international university centers. It's a newly built livestock facility. The building has 700 square meters on two levels. The upper floor has a capacity for 168 or 240 animals, depending on the target final weight. On the lower floor are located the exhaust fans for ventilation and systems for collection, separation and removal of manure. The upper floor has four independent rooms. Each room has six equal pans with partially slatted floor. 60% is solid floor and 40% slatted floor. This kind of floor represents one of the main differences with respect to the conventional fattening big houses. Once a batch of animals leave the laboratory, site preparation is begun for the next batch in the best sanitary conditions. This preparation consists of both facility cleansing and disinfection and depopulation. The equipment is also reviewed and, if necessary, infrared hearing lamps are placed during the first days of the pig stay. During the fattening period, the pigs are fed without time control, so they eat whenever they want. To teach them to use the feeders may be necessary from the date of arrival of the animals. With respect to the type of floor for the pens, several advantages may be found in a partial slatted floor. It allows pigs to separate into clean or rest area and dirt or manure area. It provides a better rest for pigs because they prefer solid floor when it comes to lie down. And it allows the pigs to show the rooting natural behavior, playing with the feed they waste out the feeder. <laughs> Apart from the facility characteristics, the pig welfare is conditioned by animal handling, both daily and in the special operations as weight controls or truck loads. In the pig welfare laboratory, a carefully handling of the animals is applied, encouraging confidence relationship between animals and people. Pigs that fear people are much more difficult to handle. Animals develop different responses, avoiding or moving closer, depending on farm workers and on their relationships with them. Pigs are able to distinguish good or bad farm workers. Therefore, farm workers' attitude is very important. People with positive attitudes will obtain, moreover, better technical indexes on the pigs, such as daily weight gain and feed conversion, which, in turn, will be reflected in the best economic results of the farm. <laughs> Regarding operations such as truck loads, as any other movement of the animals in the farm, 
it is essential to carefully and leisurely move the animals, which, at the end, becomes faster and more convenient than the use of hitting or shouting, especially if, by the daily attitude of farm workers, the pigs don't fear people. With regard to environmental control of swine feed facilities, the biggest problems are excessive heat and harmful gases production and retention inside the rooms. The Pig Welfare Laboratory was designed in the assumption that with any of the main ventilation systems, exhaust or neutral pressure, air outlet would be under the floor. It has also an evaporative cooling system for, if necessary, the air can be cooled before it goes into the rooms. By depression or exhaust ventilation, the air enters in the building through the windows located in one side of the rooms and flows through the rooms being mixed with inner air before it falls over the animals, avoiding an alteration of the thermal comfort of the animals. Then it goes through the slatted floor and goes outside, being sucked up by the extractor fence located in the lower floor, at the end of the ventilation corridors. In the case of neutral pressure ventilation, the air, previously refrigerated if necessary, is injected in the rooms by pressure fans through perforated distribution ducts. Then, as in the previous case, flows through the rooms, goes through the slatted floor, and goes outside being sucked up by the extractor fans of the lower floor. The positive effects of the air going out the rooms where the pigs are housed through the slatted floor will be threefold. All the dust and gases generated in the area occupied by the animals are immediately channeled to the basement and then out of the housing. It is avoided that the gases generated in the basement on the structures for the collection, separation and removal of manure rise to the area occupied by the animals. Water from manure is evaporated, decreasing the volume of waste and increasing the dry matter of the manure. The negative environmental impact of the fattening pig farms is, basically, due to pig slurry and gas emissions, especially ammonia, to the atmosphere. Pig slurry is made up by the solid and liquid stools, by the feed thrown out of the feeders, by the wasted water and by the cleaning water. While the pig slurry could be used as agricultural fertilizer, the vast existing production and the problems of their application on the farmland make often necessary to turn to expensive treatments to reduce their polluting power. Considering the problems associated to pig slurry management, the Pig Welfare Laboratory is designed to not produce it. How can this be achieved? First, by means of a partially slatted floor and the good environmental control that allows pigs to defecate and urinate on the slatted area which is the dirty or manure area of the pens occupied by the animals. Second, in situ preparation of the feces and the urine by conveyor belts for the collection, separation and removal of manure located just under the slatted floor area. But, how does this feces and urine separation system work? Previously to the animal's entry, the conveyor belts are transversely inclined. The pigs defecate and urinate over the slatted floor and the feces fall directly over the belts. The urine, due to the slope, slips towards the collecting gutters, parallel to the belts while the feces stay on them. Once or twice a day, depending on the animal weight, the belts are put in operation and the solid feces are put out the building. And so, we have solid manure instead of pig slurry. Also, the ventilation air is constantly moving over the manure accumulated on the belts and contributing to their drying. Another advantage offered by the rapid in situ separation of feces and urine is production, and therefore reduction of ammonia emissions, limiting contact between the bacteria from the feces and the urea from the urine. Thus, in the pig welfare laboratory, it is achieved that the residues are transformed in byproducts. Since the collected solid fraction is better accepted by farmers as a fertilizer, its transport is less expensive than pig slurry and, also, it is easily compostable. 
The liquid fraction could be used as an industrial nitrogen source or be stabilized and used for further irrigation. In conclusion, the Peak Welfare Laboratory of the Escuela Técnica Superior de Ingenieros Agrónomos of the Universidad Politécnica de Madrid stands out as an experimental center innovative for teaching and research in intensive peak production in collaboration with companies and sector associations.